Hello everyone. Today we will be uh, having a talk about the evolutionary history and adaptive role of chromosomal inversions in Atlantic herring. So inversions are large scale mutations that involve uh, a shift in some region in the genome and suppress recombination. And inversions have been increasingly associated with phenotypic diversity in nature. And because of this seemingly important role in adaptive evolution, this has motivated a lot of research that is trying to understand how inversions, inversions are maintained in natural populations. So one ongoing hypothesis uh, says that inversions are mainly maintained in natural populations by balancing selection. And this is because suppressed recombination should lead to the accumulation of deleterious mutations in the inverted haplotypes, which favors the maintenance of inversions at intermediate frequencies in populations because heterozygotes have higher fitness. But in other systems, um, there is evidence for the maintenance of inversions by divergent selection. And this is because inversions tend to be maintained at higher frequencies. And so mutational load accumulation is uh, thought to not be so important in this case. Another open question related with inversions is what is their functional impact or what is the genetic basis of adaptation related to inversions? And this is because um, in this case, inversions may overlap or be very close to multiple hundreds of genes. Um, and so it's hard to pinpoint which one or which ones are important for adaptation. And in this case, uh, one could use, for example, long read sequencing to, uh, uh, to characterize the breakpoints of the inversions and understand if they are disrupting coding sequences or regulatory sequences, or use alternative, for example, gene expression data to understand if there are any genes that show different expression levels between phenotypes or genotypes. So in today's talk, I will be focusing focusing on the Atlantic herring, which is a species of fish uh, uh, that exists in the North and Atlantic. And in this case, we find uh, four large scale uh, inversions that are uh, segregating uh, between or across this gradient of seawater temperature. Uh, and one of the inversion haplotypes is in higher frequency in the North and another is in higher frequency in the South. So, we think that these inversions might be important for adaptation to temperature, but otherwise we know very little about their evolutionary history, selection mechanisms maintaining or their functional impact. And so to understand the evolutionary history of these inversions, we have here combined uh, short read data for multiple populations of Atlantic herring from across the Northern Atlantic, plus data from the sister species, the Pacific herring, and we also generate long read data from uh, homozygote south uh, individuals and homozygote north individuals. Um, and finally, we also combine data from the SPRAT and NAL group. So a whole genome uh, uh, tree of this data shows the expected split between the two species or the two sister species of herring after the divergence from SPRAT. And uh, trees from each one of the inversions recapitulate this evolutionary history, which suggests that uh, the inversions are not shared with the sister species, the Pacific herring, and that may they may have formed after the split from the sister species, though this still needs to be confirmed with uh, divergence time estimation. We also use data from northern, uh, north and south from mosaics to understand or to show that, that these inversions are, or the two haplotypes are very divergent as uh, here shown by FSD plots for each one of the inversions, which is highlighted in gray. And also we find the expected signature of suppressed recombination uh, in each inversion, uh, which is here plotted as R square. Uh, we also study the nucleotide diversity uh, of each haplotype in each inversion because it's usually hypothesized that the derived allele should show lower diversity. But in this case, we actually do not find this pattern in every inversion, uh, and in particular, chromosome 17 and 23rd show that uh, the ancestral allele actually has lower, divergent, uh, lower diversity. Uh, finally, we also study the accumulation of deleterious mutations 
um, to understand the question of uh, mutational load accumulation and these inversions. And essentially, and here to do this, we calculate uh, the NDS using the Sprat as a now group for each gene inside inversion. And here we're plotting uh, the NDS in the south versus uh, the NDS for the north uh, haplotype. And what we find is that uh, no indication that the NDS uh, is different for uh, the north or south haplotype, suggesting that there is no uh, difference in the accumulation of the deleterious mutations. Um, we also looked at transposable element accumulation between north and south allele, also wanting to understand this question of deleterious mutation accumulation. And except for chromosome 23, we find no significant differences between the haplotypes. So these results together with the fact that we find these inversions, inversion haplotypes at high frequencies across the gradient of seawater temperature suggest that they should be uh, maintained by divergence selection across the North Atlantic. Uh, but then we're still not sure what could be the functional impact of these inversions and how they could be related to adaptation to water temperature. So we use the long read data to study the breakpoints and we do not find uh, any evidence that these inversions are disrupt disrupting coding sequences, suggesting that uh, their functional impact should be regulatory. And so because of this, we're using now gene expression data for uh, a set of individuals that are either heterozygotes or homozygotes for the north allele in chromosome 12, um, and also individuals that have been uh, reared at different uh, temperatures, uh, which should be the temperatures that, that herring experience in natural populations in the north and in the south. And what we find is that um, genes that are differentially expressed between temperatures or genotypes within or near chromosome 12 inversion are uh, important for the development, metabolism, uh, and immunity which would be in line with the known phenotype of growing at different temperatures. So individuals that grow at uh, higher temperature are, have larger body sizes. And so to conclude in this talk, we've shown that the inversions in Atlantic herring are not shared with the sister species, suggesting that they should uh, may have formed after the split between the species. And they also, uh, we find evidence that they are maintained by diver divergent selection across this gradient in temperature in the ocean. And finally, our preliminary results with gene expression data suggest that the genes in these inversions might be related with growth development and metabolism, which is in line with a known phenotype of temperature during the development of fish. And with this, I would like to uh, acknowledge all my colleagues and funding and thank you for listening.